Hey guys, today's video is going to be an unboxing video. Um, I've been a little under the weather lately with um, sinuses and allergies and whatnot, so excuse the deep, manly, masculine voice that I'm experiencing right now. <coughs> but anyways, I'm going to be doing my April 2015 Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing as well as my Target Beauty Box. Um, I've had these sitting on my vanity for the last three days now? Four days? Three days. Yeah, three days. Um, just waiting to have time to film this video. And I do want to do them both at the same time, so kill two birds with one stone, I guess. I'm going to start out with um, my Target Beauty Box first. Um, I actually really like this box. I don't know, this is my first one. Um, last season I tried to order it and it sold out just like that, man. I was like, ugh, are you serious? So this is my first one and I like the box. It's black. And it just came um, vacuum sealed. It didn't have like it wasn't inside of a box or an envelope or anything. It was just sealed like that with my address and name and information on that and whatnot. But let's open it. Spring Clean Your Beauty Cabinet. 20% off Derm Store. I don't need that. Oh, it tells us what we've got. Hello, beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm all about that coupon life. Uh, $3 off beauty store, beauty department purchase of 15 or more at Target. Ooh, this is a Target coupon, so I can stack this with a manufacturer coupon. That's cool. Um, first is the Maybelline Color Elixir by Color Sensational Lip Color. This is a full size. Um, it's a really pretty color showing up more pink on camera. It's actually showing up very pink on camera. It's more of like a muted rose color. Let's get that off. And I will swatch it for you. And that is the color. It's it's still looking very very pink. But it's a beautiful color. I'll put it on. Ooh. Hmm. It's very, very um, smooth and creamy. This is actually the first time I've ever used one of these, and I don't own any of the color elixirs. But it's very nice. It's nice. I dig it. <clears throat> and the next is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray and Set. This is the whole reason why I wanted to get this box. This retails for $14 to $15 in most places. I, I'm pretty sure it can go up to $16, $17. Um, but this is the makeup setting spray, and the whole box was just $5. This is the sole reason why I wanted this box. So um, it's a makeup extender setting spray. You can use it. Um, this is a post makeup setting spray. It's got a micro fine texture and it sets and fixes. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. I do like trying setting sprays. Right now I am currently using um, a homemade mixture as well as um, perfectly posh makeup setting spray which I really do like as well. It has a nice minty smell to it and um, it does a very good job at keeping my makeup in place. Next is the Hydro Hydrogena. <laughs> Next is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. <clears throat> um, ultra lightweight formula, instantly absorbs to hydrate extra dry. I don't have dry skin, so I'm definitely not going to be using this. Helps skin natural moisture barrier, blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm not using this. I have oily skin, if you guys do not already know that. <clears throat> Next is the Tresemme. Tress to extra hold hairspray. 
I absolutely love this hairspray. This is one of my go-to hairsprays, as well as the Aussie Awesome Volume hairspray. But I do like that this is a travel size, and I can toss this in my purse when I need it. So I don't have to carry around a big old bottle like this. I think this retails for about three bucks at Target. <clears throat> and last but not least is Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal System Shampoo. Sulfate free, antioxidant rich shampoo helps renew vibrancy for dull, lackluster hair. My hair is definitely dull. Um, it's a, this is a really good size formula for a sample box. I mean, it's nice. So I probably I don't even know why I'm doing this. I probably won't be able to smell it. Let's see, no, I can't smell it. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I really can't. It's I can faintly smell something, but I can't determine what it is. <laughs> my poor nose is broken. But that is it for my Target beauty box. We have that five items, two of which are full size. I don't know if this is full size or not. I'm guessing, no, this can't be full size. Um, but this alone pays for the box. This retails for about five to seven bucks, I think, in most places. And of course, this is three bucks. I don't know what to say this is, and I don't. I've never read heard of this before. I'm interested to try it. <clears throat> and of course, this is expensive as crap. Well, I won't say it's drugstore expensive. We'll say that. Uh, but I'm excited to get this little go. <coughs> Did I mention I really like the way the little box is? Next up is my April glam bag by Ipsy. And it's still sealed. Nothing. I haven't tampered with it or anything. This is a complete unboxing video. Um, I did, I don't remember what color it was, but I did redeem some bonus points in for one of the Pacifica eyeshadows. It was this really pretty bronzy brown color, and the formulation of it was just absolutely beautiful, and I really enjoyed it. Now, the one that we, the duo that we received last year was absolutely terrible. It was powder, chalky, and it just did not apply very nicely. Um, I don't remember what color that I had gotten for my bonus points this time, so we'll see. Anyways. That was easy. Alright. The first thing I see is the chlorine shampoo. Wow, I can't read half this shit. Oh, dry shampoo with oat milk. Let's see if I can smell it. See, I can smell this. This has a clean smell to it. And that was outside of my bag. Because, but yeah. Here is the bag. And how freaking cute is this? Holy shit. And it's like wicker almost. That's not the way to explain this. How do you explain this? It's like macrame. Like the macrame thread. Some people don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> That's pretty. And the theme for this month is beautifully bohemian. It's not focusing. It's a really pretty picture. Very pretty. <clears throat> and of course, it's got all the crap to win a year's bag of goodies and whatnot. Alright, first thing I see on top is the mini nude dude eyeshadow by The Balm. Ooh, it's magnetic. I don't know why, but that's like appealing. That's pleasurable to my ears to hear a magnetic closing. I don't know. <clears throat> and the color I got was flirty. Oh, I didn't even show you what color it was. And it's like a taupey brown. Um, but it does have um, right next to that, some. Ooh, it's like a a gold undertone to it. So you can really see it here. Next is the Hikari blush in the color. Tango. Oh man, there we go. Ew. Mm -mm. Sorry. This is a terrible color. Oh my god. <laughs> it is so ugly. I will never wear this. This is gonna go 
I'm not even going to swatch it. I'm sorry. I cannot pull off this color whatsoever. It is too intense for my skin tone. But that's alright. <clears throat> Aha! Here is my um, bonus point item. It's the Pacifica Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow in Ethereal. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Here's the... It's very pretty. Let's watch it right here. Oh man, it's so pretty. You guys can't really see it. But it's a beautiful color. I'm really excited about this one. Next is the Micah Beauty Eye Primer. And um, I read a lot of really bad things about this. Uh-oh. Okay, no, that's just bubbles. Um, do you see those little dots right there? I thought that was part of it. But um, a lot of people were complaining that there was mold in these. And mine looks pretty decent. It's just, I thought those little air bubbles were mold spots, but when you first put your finger in it, it's very creamy, and then when you start rubbing it into your skin, it, um, it like, thickens up and dries very fast. Um, I'm excited to try that out. I really do like eye primers. I love the Maybelline color tattoos as a base for 90% of my eyeshadows. <clears throat> Next is the Julie G nail color in, I don't see the name, let's find out, Damsel, and it's very pretty, I have a few, I've started collecting a few of the Julie G nail colors, um, I started, Ipsy had one of those Ipsy officer, ooh, officers, <laughs> Ipsy had an Ipsy offer to where you can get four of these for like ten bucks, so I snagged that up, and um, I've really been enjoying it. Today I don't have it on, I just have black, but I do have the matte on. I really, really, really enjoy the matte colors. That is it for my Ipsy April unboxing video and my unboxing video for the Target Beauty Box for spring, I believe. I didn't really see a label on it this season, so anyways. Um, Ipsy is $10 a month and it's a recurring fee, whereas oops, Target is a $5 a month box, uh, not a month, every three to four months. I don't know, they were, they're usually right around the time that Walmart does their beauty box, but they were very late this year, or this, this season. Um, it's not a reoccurring fee, so when it becomes available, you have to buy it up really fast, especially when you have, um, items in there that retail well over the five dollars like this a lot of people were buying the box solely for this um, because it's fifteen dollars in the store where you can get it five dollars in the beauty box so I will keep you guys updated next time that the beauty box comes around and um, when I post it you guys better jump on it because it'll be gone within a day's time probably not even I think this was the fastest time that they sold out for this box um, <clears throat> so yeah it's totally backwards and I really love this box. I can't get over it. So that is it for this complete unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys would like to sign up for Ipsy, I will put my link down below. Also, I will put the link down for the Target Beauty Box. Um, it is not available, as I said. It's already sold out, but it'll give you a go You can go ahead and save the page or whatever and keep it to your favorites. That way it's easier for you to get access to it. So... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Um, also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page. I do keep you guys updated more often on that than I would on here because I don't film as often, but I am getting back into that. If you guys want to see like a specific look or a tutorial on how to do something, a how-to video, or anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below just to give me an idea of how to better serve you, serve you guys. Um, <clears throat> thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.